Thank you so much, Brother Haider. Next, we have a short lecture uh, by Brother Ahmad Talib, and he attends the Al Mustafa seminar at Imam Dearborn, and he will elaborate a little bit on the uh, on tonight's topic, liberation of Mecca and what it means to be merciful. Please welcome him with a loud salawat. Thank you. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Sallu ala... Thani ala hub al Hussein. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق خاتم النبيين محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد I begin in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, the one who has created everything in utmost perfection السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نعزي صاحب العصر والزمان الإمام المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف قال الله في كتابه المبين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقاتلون في سبيل الله الذين يقاتلونكم ولا تعتدوا إن الله لا يحب المعتدين الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Holy Quran in سورة البقرة verse 190 fight in the way of Allah those who fight you but do not transgress. In, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like the transgressors. Now we see in the first part of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about fighting in the way of Allah, fighting in the way of his own name. And that means if somebody is to come at you, you will not be the aggressors first. And we see this constantly, constantly in Islam. Yesterday, the brother was up here and he mentioned how Imam al Hussein alayhi salam saw Muslim had a clear shot on Shimir. And as we stated, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam has ilm al ghayb. He knows who's gonna kill him. Muslim had a clear shot on Shimir, and Imam al Hussein alayhi salam told him, Don't take that shot. Now, let's say, for example, one of us was able to look in the future and we knew who would kill us. And we had the opportunity later before our death to kill him. Would you not take that? Imam al Hussein alayhi salam had that chance and he didn't take that. Why did he not take that chance? It would be stated later that the side of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, the grandson of the Prophet, is the one that started this war and they got what they deserved. Imam al Hussein did not want that to happen. That is why he told him, don't start that war. Don't shoot that arrow. We see this constantly. We see it happen with Abu Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salam. As we know, when the Muslims were setting up their tents and they, when they were setting up their camp, when they first arrived in Karbala, the side of Umar ibn Sa'ad did not let them set up by the water. Abu Fadl al-Abbas was fierce by this. He was mad. He was angry. Why are they not let, setting, let, let us setting up by the water? It's very hot and they need water to survive. They state that Abu Fadl al-Abbas was going to start a fight. He was very angry, like I said. Imam al-Hussein called him and told him, no, don't start the fight. He told him for this exact reason. Later, they're going to say that we started the war, and we do not want that talk to be talked about us. Now, why did Abu Fadl al-Abbas listen right away? Something that's very important in a person Especially a person who, let's say, is on your team or a person you're with every single day of your life is loyalty, respect, honesty. Abu Fadl al-Abbas, we see a lot of people being loyal, but there was nobody or not people as loyal as the companions of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. You're going into a war, it's 72 versus 30,000. Who's taking those odds? Who's going to take those odds? Who in the right mind will take those odds and say, you know what, I'm going to continue and I'm going to fight this war. You know you're going to die. But it's the loyalty. رُوِيَ عَنْ أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلِيَ بْنَ أَبِي طَالَبْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ الْوَفَاءُ سَجِيَةَ الْكِرَامِ Loyalty is the most honorable trait. Imam Ali alayhi salam is telling you that this is the best trait. And that is why the companions of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam are the best companions. 
There are many stories of Abu Fadl Abbas every time he would address Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, how would he address him? If I have a brother, you address your brother by his name. You address your brother, my brother, something like that. They say every time Abu Fadl al Abbas would address Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, he wouldn't call him by his name. He wouldn't call him my brother. He would call him my Mawlai, my master. They state there was one time he didn't call him my Mawlai, and that was right before death. Right before death, when Abu Fadl al Abbas had both his hands cut off, that is the one time he didn't call Imam al Hussein my Mawlai. He called him by his name, my brother Hussein, please come next to me. That is the only time. My brothers today, my brothers and sisters today, we don't look at loyalty as something that is very important. But in the time of the Holy Prophet, in the time of Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, it was something that was very important. Something that was looked upon. That if you wanted to be an army, you needed to be trusted. And all these 72 companions of Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam were trusted companions. Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Masalli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Thani ala hubb al Hussein. We also see that Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam was also very merciful. Now, if you're loyal, if you're honest, sometimes you get a tray and it's also being very merciful. Now, we see that Imam Al Hussein was also very merciful. The person who didn't allow him to go back to Kufa, which we know is by the name of Hurra Riyahi. They state Imam al Hussein was going back to Kufa. He wanted to go back to Kufa. The army of Hur was thirsty. They were going to die. Keep in mind, Imam al Hussein did not know them. They were thirsty. They were going to die. Imam al Hussein gave them water. After Imam al Hussein gave them water, what did they do? Imam al Hussein tried turning back to Kufa. What did they do? They forced him to go to Karbala. As we know, they state it was on the morning of the 10th of Muharram. Morning of the 10th, before, Sal before Salat al-Fajr. They state, Al-Hur told his son, he told him, tie my hands behind my back like this, put a blindfold over me, and take me to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Take me to Hussein. He, he felt so embarrassed. They state on that morning, he saw the soldiers of Umar ibn Sa'ad washing the horses with water, gallons of water being tossed on the horses. And he thought to himself, Imam al Hussein gave me water, how come they're not giving them? Keep in mind, there was children in that camp. Children, thirsty children in that camp. He goes to the camp of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, and right away, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam forgives him. Somebody he, who led them to their death, who led to the death of Imam al-Hussein and led to the death of his companions and to the imprisonment, imprisonment of his family. Why was Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam so quick to be merciful? When the Sheikh was up here yesterday, when Sheikh Dr. Mahdi Hazari was up here yesterday, he mentioned this, that even if somebody is bad to you, you be good to them. This was the message of the Holy Prophet. This is the message of Islam. Even if somebody is bad to you, you be good to them. Let's state somebody is bad to you and you only return bad to them. Are they ever going to be good to you? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a cycle that, that is unending. You being bad to them, them being bad to you. You being bad to them, them being bad to you. It's a cycle that will be unending and that is why Imam al-Husayn decided to forgive him, decided to be merciful. They state that the Holy Prophet after wars after wars, there would be spoils of wars. There would be shields, there would be swords, and sometimes there would be slaves, there would be people. What did the Holy Prophet used to do with these slaves? Did he used to get them and make them work for him? Did he used to enslave them? They state the Holy Prophet used to gather them. He used to free them. That's what the Holy Prophet did. Why did he do this? The Holy Prophet wanted to end that cycle, to end that cycle of bad by doing good when somebody was doing bad to you. That's why the Holy Prophet did that. And that is why Imam al Hussein alayhi salam decided to free Hur. He decided to be merciful. He decided to forgive him after everything he did. And my brothers and my sisters, we gotta learn. We gotta learn from Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. From Abu Fadl al Abbas alayhi salam as well. From the entire message of Islam.
اخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رحم الله من قرأ سورة الفاتحة مصبوكة بالصلاة على محمد وآل محمد صلي على